Have you ever wondered why this happens? A car racing past always has the same effect, from a high frequency to a low frequency. Even an ambulance or siren sounds different when the ambulance is coming towards you, and once it passes away from you. Here's another question: Haven't you ever wondered how we know that the universe is expanding? And that some stars are moving faster than others in the night sky. That's totally mad. Nobody could possibly know that from planet Earth, but they can. Christian Andreas Doppler was an Austrian physicist that managed to figure out that the change in observed frequency was due to a change in the relative position of an observer to a source of sound. What he didn't know was that we would be using his principle to look inside pregnant wombs and tell which direction clouds were moving in a storm. The Doppler effect is used in medicine and the military. It is used to tell how fast blood cells are moving. It can even be used to tell aircraft where they are and help keep them safe. Air traffic controllers use the Doppler effect to find out where and how fast airplanes are moving. Pretty important stuff. Back to space. A binary star is a system made of two stars that spin around one another because they are attracted to one another's gravitational field. Doppler originally figured out that these stars did something very strange. They changed color slightly. Depending on which direction they were moving relative to us here on Earth, the stars approaching the Earth had a higher frequency, while the same star decreased frequency of light when going away. So the idea is this: waves move at a particular speed that depends on the medium they are traveling through. That speed doesn't change unless the medium changes. Sounds move at around 340 meters per second. Light moves at 300 million meters per second. Now, how does a frequency change? Well, Doppler predicted that the only way to do that was if the wavelength was being altered by the movement of one body relative to another. So when the object that made the sound was moving, it would change the distance between waves. We call this object that makes the waves the source. In this case, we can see the ambulance is the source. The ambulance that is making the sound is squeezing the waves in front of it by following them. So the waves in front of the object would be closer, shortening their wavelength. The waves behind the object would be spread out, causing a longer wavelength. Now, if we look at the relationship between wavelength and frequency, we see that the change in wavelength would also result in change in frequency. So, objects getting closer would experience shorter wavelengths, therefore higher frequencies. If it's sound we are talking about that's easily heard as an increase in the pitch or note of the sound, it makes sense that when objects getting further away would make the wavelength larger. That would make for a lower observed frequency and a lower sound. But what about a stationary source and a moving listener? That's also going to change things. If the observer or listener moves towards the source, they move through the waves faster, experiencing a higher frequency too, and. If they are moving away from the source of the waves, they are actually running away from the moving waves. That means they would experience a much lower frequency. Now, 
What has that got to do with the night sky and the galaxies we see in telescopes? We know that all stars work on roughly the same principle. Hydrogen fuses to make helium and other elements. That process gives off very specific frequencies of light. These frequencies of light are like the fingerprint of hydrogen. When we look at the stars, scientists have found that we see a lower frequency than we would usually see. Do you know what that means? It means that most of the stars in the universe are moving away from us. It supports the idea that the universe is expanding and getting bigger all the time. We can also start to trace back this movement using other evidence that the universe may have started from a single point. You might know this as the Big Bang Theory. It's the best theory we have at the moment for how and why the universe looks the way it does. So, Doppler was unbelievably intelligent and actually managed to figure out something that would have untold consequences in astronomy. But, can Doppler get us out of a traffic fine? Well, the theory says that if you approach a red light, its frequency should increase. So, in theory, if you were moving towards a traffic light that showed red, you could change the colour of the light. Some quick calculations show that to change light from 650 nanometers of red to around 550 nanometers of green on the right is not that easy. You have to be travelling at about 50,000 kilometers per second. You'd have to be moving at speeds that no man-made object can achieve. So don't try and use the Doppler shift and don't go through the red traffic lights to get out of a traffic ticket. So the next time you hear a siren going past you or safely land in an aircraft, remember amazing Mr. Doppler and his amazing observation about the change in frequency of waves.